Hey all, welcome to ShareTrek. This is Raj here, friends. Today I want to revisit the genomic sequencing business because we have ignored it for a while. Everything was lackluster there and I think we might see a change very shortly. We will talk PACB, Illumina and AI in this video and uh, it'll be eye-opening, I promise you that. Let's get started. Welcome back, friends. Pacific Bio has been on the slide down. Illumina has grail hangover. Latest news is that Carl Icahn has relaxed his aggressive posture on Illumina. And that is characterized by the fact that he is not contesting for board seats. And the Illumina share price is consolidating and I think it should soon see a breakout. I think there is tremendous opportunity in the genomic sequencing business. There is tremendous opportunity in PACB and Illumina because of what is happening in the wider industry with the embrace of AI. The recent NVIDIA conference opened my eyes because it showcased the wide range of industry partners for NVIDIA. And today my focus is uh, basically going to be on PACB and very soon I'll make a separate video on Illumina. But let's focus on PACB right now. Let me take you to the price chart. As you can see here, this is a price chart for uh, PACB and each of the candle is a one day candle and you can see that we have had a steady drop in the value of PACB from the 27th of November onwards. And even before that, it was on a bear channel. It's just that we moved on to a superior bear channel and we have fallen down. And the, the decline seems to be continuing except for a brief spate yesterday when we had a little bit of jump and today again uh, we have this inverted hammer out here which is more a symptom of uh, the bears being able to pull it down uh, and the bulls not being able to push it up so uh, i think uh, it's warranted to look into this industry and see what exactly is happening to pacb and what is in store in in a manner of speaking the price slide makes sense when you look at the traditional method of comparing price to sales because these companies don't have any profit uh, illumina is a very big company and the comparison for pacb with its peers uh, uh, would have to include illumina but it also has to include other companies of its size here we are in uh, simply wall street and if you look at the uh, price for uh, price to sales multiple for Pacific Biosciences, it's higher than most of its uh, peers, including Illumina. Even though Illumina is in a different league altogether, I've just added Illumina here for comparison because those are the two companies we have in the watch list. Uh, if you look at this, then you can say that you know, probably ACB is slightly high priced, so it has to come down a little bit. I'll also show you another um, uh, price to sale ratio uh, chart, a uh, uh, table which is available from uh, New York Stern. And um, out here, there's a, all, all of these uh, sectors. And I have looked at them and the price to sales ratio for healthcare and infotech is 4.76%. And uh, if I also look at semiconductor, it's 10.2% and semiconductor equipment is 508 And for the total market, we have a price to sales of 2.3%. So that's the lay of the land out here. So from that perspective also, if you look at it, uh, either you put um, uh, PSCB into the healthcare and infotech sector, uh, in which case its price to sales should be 4.76%, or you put it into the semiconductor equipment sector, in which case it should be 5.08 and it is 5.1. So it seems more or less the market is valuing it as a semiconductor equipment company. It's very close to that. So I don't anticipate any further drops, but this has a big message for us. What is the message the market is giving us here? In my opinion, I think the market is asking for greater productivity and efficiency. PSCB has already responded with embracing GPU technology. PSCB recently introduced a new instrument, the review, uh, integrating NVIDIA's GPU. And so let us talk about how Pacific Bio, a leading company in gene sequencing technology, managed to significantly boost its processing power and speed with uh, uh, speed up its operations by integrating advanced uh, GPUs from NVIDIA into its systems. Firstly, they identified a, a bottleneck in their system, uh, the GPU polish setup, which was eating up, uh, whooping 80% of their CPU time 
on that SQL uh, 2 e system. That's a huge chunk of processing power dedicated to just one task. So by leveraging NVIDIA's powerful GPU, Pacific Bio was able to offload this workload onto the GPU, freeing up valuable CPU resources. Let me take you to the uh, page on uh, Pacific Bio where they illustrate this. And this um, news release came in in 2023 and uh, we are just having a look at it now. So here I am in the press release uh, from Pacific Bio, which says scaling long read sequencing throughput and accessibility with deep learning and NVIDIA. So they've already incorporated that into their review system. And this chart out here shows um, uh, time uh, in, in terms of hours to process on one axis, and it shows the years uh, yeah, or timeline on the right side of the axis. So uh, Pacific Biosciences is anticipating that they are going to be able to further reduce uh, the time taken for processes on their genomic sequencing machines significantly by having a combination of CPU and GPU. They already started working on it and they already de delivered a commercial grade product and um, they are looking at improving the functionality and uh, providing much more uh, to their customers for much less and it's more energy efficient as well. I'll put a link to this article in the description so that you can go and have a look at it yourself. But by leveraging NVIDIA's powerful GPUs, Pacific Bio was able to offload this workload onto the GPU, freeing up valuable CPU resources, but they didn't stop there. They continued optimizing and moving more compute steps to the GPU, ultimately achieving something remarkable. They implemented circular consensus sequencing or CCS in a way that drastically reduced processing time and energy requirements. To put things into perspective that implementation of CCS now completes its task in just 2.5 hours. That's a significant improvement from whatever they were before, um, uh, uh, before this efficiency was achieved. And this efficiency gain opens up a world of possibilities for Pacific Bio. With the extra computing power provided by the GPUs, they can now explore and execute even more complex tasks and analysis and provide, a, provide greater functionality in their systems to their clients at a lower price point. Now let's compare this to what's happening to the broader industry. Pacific Bio's latest instrument, the Revio, is a game changer. It produces a staggering 12 times more data than previous generation and it does so in 20% less time. That's like getting 15 times faster results. In contrast, take Illumina's Novasec X instrument. It turns out 2.5 times more data compared to its predecessors, but it actually takes 10% longer to do so. So while both companies are pushing the boundaries of gene sequencing technology, Pacific Bio's integration of NVIDIA's GPU has given a clear advantage in terms of speed and efficiency to Pacific Bio. Now, what do I think about the data in Pacific Bio sequencing clients? That could be a treasure trove uh, for LLMs. Then, if you, if you look at Illumina and Thermo Fisher, who have a larger install base, they have clients using their systems and generating tons of data. Can anonymized data sets from these clients help improve our understanding of diseases and syndromes? What secrets can we unlock from the data? Remember, genes are only one dimension of the human body. Genes have recipes for protein, and proteins are the currency of inner body workings. Faulty proteins cause disease, deficient proteins cause uh, disease, uh, interrelationship in, between proteins, down and up regulating of proteins and its, uh, its effects, epigenetics are all associated domains that help complete the picture. So we have to link genomics to proteomics and epigenomics. Epigenomics will help uh, study the interrelationship with various genes, between various genes, upgrading and down regulating uh, the efficiency of these genes or the activities of these genes. So what do you think the state of play will be in future? Will we see NVIDIA taking over or getting into collaboration with Illumina or PACB? Will we see Intel and AMD trying to uh, score a partnership with the uh, remaining companies uh, that are uh, producing uh, genomic sequencing uh, machines? We even have companies like Thermo Fisher in there. This field is fraught with potential. We need to watch this space along with AI. This convinces me that we made the right decision to include AI in our focus area along with genomics. Friends, I had a great time researching for this particular segment. I am going to enjoy researching for Illumina as well. Hope you liked this video. Please put your comment and let me have your reactions. Now I have a special request for you. Dear viewers, I'm your host Raj and today I have exciting news for you. 
I am thrilled to introduce an exclusive low-cost membership opportunity designed to elevate your experience and deepen your engagement with our community. At the same time, it will also strengthen the channel as we journey together through the realms of genomics and artificial intelligence technologies. I invite you to join us and unlock a host of exclusive benefits. And by becoming a member, you will gain access to early access videos and be the first one to dive into our latest content, gaining valuable insights and analysis before it's released to the public. Monthly Zoom calls are a new feature I'm introducing. Join me for an intimate monthly Zoom call session where we dive deeper into industry trends, answer questions, and foster meaningful discussions. Joining our membership community not only grants you access to these exclusive benefits, but also ensures that you are at the forefront of our journey, shaping the direction of our content and discussions. For just $2.99 per month, you will secure your spot in this select group of individuals committed to learning, growth and exploration. But hurry, membership is limited to only 25 spots, ensuring an intimate and personalized experience for all participants. It's just like buying me a cup of coffee once a month. I would like that, wouldn't you? Don't miss out on this opportunity to enhance your investment journey and connect with like-minded enthusiasts. Thank you for your continued support and I look forward to welcoming you as a valued member of our community. See you soon in the membership section. Bye for now. Well, friends, that brings me to an end of this uh, video. At the very least, what you can do is press like and subscribe. And it will be great if you could uh, refer this video to a friend of yours who might be interested. Our subscriber count is growing. We are fast approaching 15,000. With your help, we can reach there quickly. Thanks and have a great day. Bye for now.